Hello, I'm Rich Kreps, and welcome to this week's BizShare Networking Show. It's a show where multiple businesses share their social media friends with each other. So get ready to hear about four great companies and a local nonprofit. You might even want to offer your services to these companies. But please make sure you say hi on their Facebook pages and give them an opportunity to serve you and your friends. Now let's get this show moving. In case you guys haven't noticed, it gets a little hot around here in the valley, and it also gets pretty darn chilly in the winter. So you need a friend that can help make sure that one, you're comfortable, and two, that your savings are optimized. And Donald P. Dick Air Conditioning Incorporated can make that happen, especially Mr. Victor Barrietos. Victor, how are you? Good, good. Good <laughs> to see you again. Well, let's talk about HVAC. <laughs> I think what's, what's super important is that people think, oh, I'm going to spend all this money for this unit on the house. Is it even going to work right? There's a lot of aspects to it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, for us, the design portion of it, um, very involved. I like to have that design build relationship with all my clients, whether it's new construction or existing. Okay. Um, typically, I focus on what's important to you. Um, like you said, I, I want to be cool. I want to be cool, but I don't want to spend a ton of money for it. Absolutely. Um, so we start looking at different variables that we can incorporate into your house. Not only what size of equipment, um, thorough analysis of heat gain loss, um, and then matching up the efficiency of the equipment. We've sized it right now, but how efficiently can I produce that cooling? Okay. Um, some of the other things we'll look at, zonal control. I'm talking about you have one light switch in the house? No, no, you don't. You have multiple. multiple. You have one on. in every room, right. so you can control the light in the room. But one of those big comfort factors, the air conditioning, most homes. When I turn it on, it's on it's, everywhere. It's on everywhere. Right, okay. Um, so we tend to modulate um, temperature so that it's all kind of okay. The zone systems allow us to actually target specific areas. Um, master bedroom. Okay. I know when I go to bed at night, I want to be cool in the summer. And the master of his domain better be cool. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm paying for it. <laughs> right. But I don't necessarily want to sit there being cool at night knowing that I'm also cooling off the rest of the house. And there's nobody in the living room. Exactly, exactly. Right. So zone contr control does allow us to modulate that load between okay. the rest of the house. And that may help drive down prices quite a bit for people. Absolutely. Variable speed equipment tied with that is really where you're going to, not only are we addressing the comfort, but now we're looking at the efficiency side. Right. So why are you thinking about cooling the rest of your house when you are not there? Let the experts at Donald P. Dick Air Conditioning Incorporated come out and maybe do a little zonal control in there so you're cool at night in the room you want to be in and during the day you're cool in that room. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more. Well, thanks to mobile devices, the world has gotten very small and very fast and you need to be able to take advantage of that. So my next guest from Sierra Pacific Marketing is Mr. Danny Gathright, and he knows how to make that happen. Danny, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. The digital world is just morphed into a completely different <laughs> animal in the last few years. Yeah, uh, what's the best way to do uh, to handle the mobile aspect of that? Yeah, and if a business has a mobile website, they're obviously going to get more traffic than if they didn't. Okay. And so mobile websites are designed so that they will provide that traffic on a mobile device. Is it true that they're, they're more of the, I guess, smartphones and that kind of thing now than computers or yeah, some they're, crazy they're, numbers? Yeah, there, there are actually more smartphones and mobile devices than there are personal computers in today's world. I know that there's, there's a different style, too, of, of this morph and that there may be a website that doesn't fit right with certain smartphones. There may be different apps that can be created, but mobile's where it's at when people have limited time and they just want to get as much information as possible. Absolutely. People keep their phones with them 24-7. They're okay. on all the time. And so whenever they're out, they're on the go, they pull out their phone, they grab it, and they search for something. So they're looking for immediate information, instant information, and they may even be ready to look for some, some results at the same time. Okay, and by uh, accessing a proper web page, the internet presence, and putting everything into a mobile device that people can access, yes. uh, it just makes their marketing so much more powerful. Absolutely. And we have to understand, too, that mobile, mobile devices require different things than, than regular websites do. They're, they're smaller, they have smaller screens, they have a different navigation system, they need to load quickly, they have to have smaller images, so they actually have a different uh, purpose behind them and how they're created. Sure, and by being specific then with your business's needs that come to you, you can make sure that they optimize that mobile device. Yes, they need, they need to be optimized and they need to be able to fit a mobile device so that people aren't pinching and squeezing, you know how you open it up and you try to <laughs> pinch and squeeze and try <laughs> to get, yeah, this, right? yeah, yeah, and when that happens then people lose customers because they don't want to fiddle around with it so they just leave. And if you're like me and you have no idea how to make this uh, happen and get it started, Sierra Pacific Marketing can make that happen for you, so give Danny and the team a call. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. So you're thinking you need a new kitchen, you need a new master bedroom, you need a new master bath, and then you're thinking to yourself, where do I turn? 
Taylor Home Design, that's the place that you turn, Mr. Brett Taylor, how are you? Good, how are you doing, Rich? Good, I wanna kinda of walk through that process. When people uh, pick up the phone, they call you, okay, mm -hmm. Brett, I need you. Mm -hmm. How does the process start, and then when, how does it turn then from paper to you coming in and saying, check this out? Yeah, so what I do, first of all, I just meet with the homeowners and just listen, find out what it is they're looking for, uh, what, try to find out some information about their budget, and just, and again, ask them for pictures, get some ideas what they like, their, their taste. Sure. A lot of people even bring their own drawings to me, and I can start working with that. Okay. So yeah, that's basically how the process starts. Well, I think it'd be fun for someone like me. I'd like to break out the ruler and, and put a couple boxes together, and I want my fridge here and my kitchen counter. When they hand that to you, though, we start talking and look at pictures. I'm sure the next step, when you walk in and start laying things out, their eyes kind of pop and say, wow, I didn't realize it could look this good. Yeah, that's one of the, my favorite things about my job. I get to, is that, that moment where you sit with the client and you roll out a set of plans and you just see their face light up and, sure. and they start to get excited about what could be. Now, from the years that you've done this too, um, you know, they say that nothing brings up the value of a home like a kitchen and bath. Mm -hmm. So you put in a new kitchen for someone, you've laid it out from their stick figures on, on paper, mm -hmm. you rolled it out and pressed them the first time. As construction starts going and things get done, that's got to be fun for you when you walk in at the very end and say, thank you very much, I'm done. And they're looking at a dream kitchen going, I never knew it could look this good. Yes. Uh, in fact, I did one a couple years ago in Woodward Lakes for the clients and it was a very specific craftsman style kitchen. And they had just decorated for Christmas right about the time the project was done. So they invited me out to take a look at it. Oh, and they showed nice. me. We sat there and looked at every different view and different angle. And they were, just, they were just so pleased with the final product. And the whole family showed up, saw it at Christmas, and said, man, this thing is fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Give Brett a call, though. I tell you what, if you want your kitchen to look like that and make the rest of the family envious, Taylor Home Design will make that happen for you. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Well, I'm happy to introduce Mr. Gary Osterberg of Gary O Furniture. And Gary, the reason I really enjoy talking to you is your approach is totally different to furniture than most people's. When, when you, if you want to put the analogy of cutting someone's hair, you don't just sit down with a head of hair and you shape it. It's got to be matched to the face and the head. That's how you approach furniture, that you want to see a room that you're going to be going in or putting a piece of furniture in so that it fits with the room. Correct. Um, the best way to see a room is actually go to the customer's house. Okay. Uh, we really like to get our sales associates in the house so they can get know, a feel for get, everything. Yeah, see how everything fits and feels and look at the colors and just get to know the customer better. Sure. A lot more relaxed atmosphere. Um, it's something we really pride ourselves in. I, I think that one of the obstacles you probably then face, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but, but if people think, I've never heard of a furniture person coming into my house, but if people are coming in, then they feel like, oh, they've spent this time we're obligated to buy. That's not your approach. You want to see the room so that you can find the perfect piece of furniture. Once you know what the room looks like, you can pick that perfect piece. Then it's your job to sell it because you know that it's going to fit perfectly. Right, correct. Um, yeah, we pressure, we don't like to pressure anybody. Um, but you stayed in business for a long time yeah, for that reason. 33 years now. Right. It'll be 33 years in May. Um, <laughs> yeah. Customers come in our store, we're going in their house, you know, we expect them to go home, think about it, come back next couple of days, and then make their decision. Sure. We just don't like to push people. And most of the things that you order for people or build for people too are, are made right here in the United States. Yeah, probably 90% of everything we sell is made in the United States. We do carry some import companies, but with their imported companies, we tend to carry the better goods. Sure. And before we run out of time, the, uh, the fabrics are a huge choice. When people come in, it's not just, hey, you've got this in maroon. You can change fabrics and textures for people, too, to make sure, again, it's a perfect fit. For the yeah, room. we probably have at least five to 600 different fabrics to choose from, from all the different manufacturers. Well, if you want to really make good. your house a home, don't just go furniture shopping. You need to go to Gary O's Furniture. We'll be right back. Everybody's heard of the American Red Cross, but many of you might not know exactly what they can do or what you can do to help them out. So we've got in studio Miss Ellen Knapp of the American Red Cross, the Central Valley region. How are you? I'm great. So give me a little rundown. I know, you know, when we say businesses have been around for a long time, maybe it's 30 years. You've been around since 1917. 95 years, and we can't wait to celebrate our 100th birthday. Sure. Um, and that will be celebrated across the entire Central Valley region, all the way from Yosemite down to the Grapevine. Every um, Red Cross was established in that region in 1917. Uh, we do cover many um, different mission services, but okay. our three core mission services obviously is disaster. Everyone knows. They see us for the hurricanes, sure. and we are fortunate to have um, volunteers here locally that are trained to go to national disasters, as well as to respond to disasters right here at home about every 18 hours. 
We've had over um, 550 families in the last 12 months that have lost their homes mm. to fire. And our volunteers are out there to make sure that they have temporary shelter and clothing and food and to make sure that they're ready to rebuild their lives. So, I mean, that takes some effort, though, not just in manpower, but also finances. How do people help you to say, look, let's keep this thing going because it's such an amazing entity? Um, everything we do is done by the generosity of the American public. Some people might think we're a government agency, but we are not. Okay. We do not receive government funding. Um, everything we are able to do is done through the American generosity. Uh, 91 cents to every dollar goes back to our mission service. So if you donate a dollar, I can tell you that 91 cents will go back into our community to help our families with our mission services. Uh, Ellen, amazing. And I'm telling you what, people, if you haven't donated to the American Red Cross, you need to do so because it's not as important to you until you need them. And I promise you, they will be there for you. Don't go anywhere. A little more coming up right after this. Well, thanks for watching this edition of our Biz Share Networking Show. If you or your business would like to take part in this creative and remarkable social media concept, give my friends at Adventure Video a call and they will put your company in the spotlight.